Hey, I'm Michael from eFlex Fuel, and today I'm going to present to you our eFlex Pro kit. Now, in front of me is the whole kit, which comes included, and um, I'm going to present to you all the components separately. So let's start with the control module. This is the control module. It's a military grade IP68 certified casing. And we have three variants of these, eFlex Eco, eFlex Plus, and eFlex Pro, which I'm holding in my hand. Then we have the ethanol sensor, which determines the ethanol content in your fuel and gives the information to the control module. Then we have our accessories kit. Now this includes zip ties, fuel line, it comes in different sizes based on your vehicle and engine, hose clamps, a fuel line tool, and quick connectors. And then we have our mail connectors. We have different options based on your engine, so those will be checked when we check your vehicle's compatibility. And then we have our main wiring harness. The eFlex Pro comes with two additional analog sensor wires. And of course, if you have a five cylinder, six cylinder or eight cylinder vehicle, that's when you need these extensions. So this is basically the whole kit. And with this, you can install the kit. It's ready to install. Here we have our demo car. It's a Nissan 350Z with the 3.5 V6 engine. Typically, an installation varies between one to two hours. It can be more, it can be less, depending on the vehicle and the complexity of the engine bay and you'll need basic shop tools to perform the installation. Let's start with the control module itself. Um, in this example, the control module is located right here in the battery bay, up on top of the battery itself. Now in this example, we've installed the wiring harness so that the main terminal is connected to the control unit itself and wired to the back of the engine and under the intake manifold. Depending on the car, these, the installation can be different, but in this case, the wiring is under the intake manifold. For the ethanol sensor, it's located in this installation right here with two of the provided quick connectors and hose clamps. The wiring goes right here to the battery box. Additionally, with the eFlex Pro kit, you have the option of two external analog sensor wires that can be connected to different components in the vehicle. Now in this build, we have a mass airflow sensor and an external wideband O2 sensor installed. And these are wired and connected to the Flex Pro control unit. Now that the engine's running, you can connect to the control module with our eFlex app. The home view shows an RPM gauge and the injector duty cycle, and those are both in real time. So if I hit the gas, it'll react at the same time. Of course, we have our ethanol content percentage. We have 69% of ethanol in our fuel at the moment. Our engine temperature is 151 Fahrenheit. And you can see all of the injectors. This is a V6, so you have six injectors and their activity as well. Now, let's go to the log chart. Here, you can see all recorded activity in a log file. And so we have duty cycle, engine temperature, and the ethanol content. So basically, you can monitor your duty cycle here as well. Then we have driving modes. Since this is an eFlex Pro, those are made custom, but with eFlex Plus, you can have three different driving modes, dynamic, sport, and eco. Startup settings, you have the default one and three optional ones that enrich in, uh, the startup process. Or you can also lean out the startup process, depending on the needs. Then we have an overview. We have our RPMs, our duty cycle, engine temperature, all the necessary data that you would possibly need. We also have our fault codes, stored ones and active ones. And if the startup enrichment is active, which is not at the moment, it's inactive. Then we of course have our startup information. So here we can see that when uh, the car is started up, it'll enrich 30 seconds. And uh, the startup engine temperature was 118 Fahrenheit. 
and startup ethanol content was 69. And then we have our fault codes, none at the moment, which is good. And of course settings, where you can adjust the app itself with app version and control unit. And of course we have the option to select which kind of calculation mode we want for RPMs. More information can be found in the manual or here. All right, that's for the app itself. So that's the installation in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and for more information, visit our website at efluxfuel.us.